Cassini probe headed for grand finale mission. After 13 years, the end of an era approaches as NASA's Cassini probe prepares for its last date with Saturn. NASA's Cassini spacecraft is now on course for its last mission that will see it dive and disintegrate into Saturn's atmosphere on Friday. The probe sped around Titan on September 11th in a flyby meant to lower the spacecraft's orbit enough to ensure it will crash into Saturn's atmosphere on September 15th. The main purpose of the mission is to make sure Cassini does not contaminate the moons of Titan or Enceladus, both of which scientists believe could support life with Earth microbes. Once Cassini enters Saturn's thick atmosphere, it will take approximately five to six minutes for the probe to fall apart and melt. During its final dive, the craft will be sending data back to Earth in real time for researchers to analyze. To infinity and beyond. Saturn probe enters grand finale. NASA's Cassini spacecraft has begun the final stage of its mission after nearly 20 years traveling in space. The Cassini spacecraft entered its grand finale orbits between Saturn's cloud tops and the planet's rings on April 26, 2017. According to NASA, Cassini survived its first dive between Saturn and its innermost rings, sending back never-before-seen images of the planet's atmosphere, including this hurricane. During the dives, Cassini will measure ice and other content in Saturn's rings and take measurements from the planet's rocky core. Cassini will enter its final orbit on September 15th, in which it is expected to destroy itself by flying directly into Saturn's atmosphere. The Cassini spacecraft was launched in October 1997 from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. It traveled 2.2 billion miles to reach Saturn. NASA reckons the moons of Jupiter and Saturn may support life. New research from NASA suggests that the vast oceans found on moons orbiting Saturn and Jupiter could support microorganic life. On Enceladus, Saturn's sixth largest moon, the Cassini spacecraft found evidence of hydrogen gas during a deep dive through a water plume in October of 2016. Hydrogen and other chemical elements along with water and energy are key for supporting life. Scientists suspect this points to the possibility of microbial life existing on Enceladus. Separate but similar research concerning water plume eruptions from Europa, the fourth largest of Jupiter's moons, may also point to life there. The Hubble Space Telescope observed eruptions from a warm area on Europa twice in a two-year period, each higher than the last. NASA will investigate this thermal activity further in the 2020s, when the Europa Clipper spacecraft is launched. Are there aliens on Titan? New research suggests that Saturn's moon Titan may contain the key elements of life. Using data from NASA's Cassini satellite, one study found that Titan's upper atmosphere is home to carbon chain anions. These serve as a stepping stone to more labyrinthine molecules that can develop life. Separately, another study found vinyl cyanide in Titan's atmosphere. Scientists speculate that this forms the outer wall of a cell and protects the biochemistry that takes place within. Titan's atmosphere is one of the most complex observed by astronomers, and these studies further bolster the idea the moon may be home to organic life. The Voyager spacecraft are still reaching for the stars. In August and September 2017, NASA's Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft will mark their 40th anniversaries as space explorers. The two spacecraft are still sending data back to Earth and setting space exploration milestones despite their vast distance from our planet. The Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 spacecraft were launched in 1977 to take advantage of an alignment of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune that made it possible to use gravitational assists to explore the planets in a much shorter time. This alignment appears once every 175 years. Voyager 2 was launched earlier than Voyager 1. It is the only spacecraft to have conducted flybys of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Voyager 1 took a shorter but faster trajectory that used a gravity assist maneuver at Saturn to take it out of the solar system. In 2012, Voyager 1 became the first spacecraft to cross into interstellar space. It is still transmitting data at a distance of almost 13 billion miles away from Earth.
Voyager 2 is in the space known as the Heliosheath, almost 11 million miles from Earth. That spacecraft is expected to enter interstellar space in the next few years. Each spacecraft carries a gold-plated record of sounds, pictures, and messages about Earth, just in case some intelligent ETs find themselves.